Hi Pisces, so I'm doing um, some general readings but I want to cover uh, Mercury Retrograde. I've noticed a lot of uh, stuff going on in Retrograde. Uh, I'm a Gemini, Mercury is my ruling planet and my electrics are going mental. Uh, I've tripped my electrics twice yesterday just by touching stuff. My microwave decided to uh, not work, now today it is working. Uh, I don't even plug my phone into Georgia. Uh, Gone crazy. Everything's gone absolutely crazy and Jessica Claire, but I'm feeling like really revitalized. Last week I did nothing but sleep. So it's a bit crackers at the minute. So I wanted to do um an empowerment reading really for um throughout this retrograde. So it fin it finishes on tenth. I wanted to start with the water signs as they were my last ones in the love reading, so I wanted to do it vice versa. So I'm gonna start with Pisces going through Mercury retrograde. Uh, it finishes on yeah 10th of March so and then we've got the uh, new moon in Pisces as well that's on the 23rd that's on Sunday isn't it so empowerment for Pisces the need for balance so yeah these things that you need to let go of in this retrograde these things Probably coming to the surface that have made you realise that you need to let go of some things in order to restore balance. Could be dealing with some kind of Libra, but I want to clarify him. Some kind of Libra. Yeah, uh, you know. <laughs> My words don't even come out. Right. Sorry, turn it. So, what's challenging? My passes. We've got heartbreak. So, in Mercury Retrograde, um, what this Mercury Retrograde is bringing around for you is the need to release. Um, what are we releasing in order to store, uh, to restore balance? See my words. Um, past heartbreaks. Cry if you need to cry. It's a power to cry to show your emotions. Uh, we're re we're releasing pent up, heartache energy from the heart chakra. I'm feeling around passes. Um, so things could be coming back from the past triggers. Uh, songs, people's names, people actually coming back from the past. So why is this coming right now for my passes? Mother Nature. Could be something to do with parents. I don't know why I got that then. But we've got Mother Nature. It's coming round because they want you to be grounded. Uh, they want you to flourish. So you know, release anything that's holding you back so that you can come back into your own power. Recent past. Divine protection. I like it. So, Passy is highly spiritual sign anyway, but the divine are protecting you. All these things are coming up for a reason emotionally. So, I do feel like the Mercury, Mercury retrograde is affecting you emotionally. Um, and the divine are they're with you, the spirit are with you, you know, guiding you through this, helping you release this. Yeah, because just as I said, releasing it at present, we've got the letting go card. There's a need to be able to let things go. To be able to reminisce over the past um, and see, find what it is that's actually triggering you. So you might think it's one thing. And if you sit with that, you'll you'll find that it's actually not. It could be something from your childhood. It could be something from a past relationship. Um, you know, but there's definitely emotional triggers that are coming up for some of my passes. We've got to let go. Just let go. Near future, your solar plexus, your gut instincts. So your gut instinct will start to come into play. Start listening to your gut and try and come out of this. Um, listen to your gut instinct. That's where we make all that's that is where our intuition is, and that is, is where the divine will send the message to. Um also you could start purging and it sounds uh, do you know what I mean? But you could be uh doing a few toilet runs or feeling sickness, um you know actually being sick um it's all a form of purging though so if that happens take it take it as a good thing because you're releasing you, you definitely you, you're definitely releasing um emotions that are stuck your power in this situation the phoenix is to rise back from the ashes so you're probably feeling burnt out at the minute especially emotionally burnt out your power is to rise back from the ashes and become the phoenix so this Mercury retrograde is having a major effect on you outside what's influencing this. Freedom, yeah. 
So freeing yourself from past karmic situations, you're still carrying some of the links in order to be able to come free as a bird. We need to break off them handcuffs. They're carrying, you're carrying past hurt. That's what's influencing it. The old links, the old triggers. Hops off fears for you. Hops off fears. Leap of faith. It's to have that faith in yourself to open those new doors. So you could be feeling quite stuck at the minute. Might put yourself in hermit mode. Um, it, it's all about opening them doors and venturing out. If you need help, ask for it. Uh, you know, go with the gut. But there's things that you need to let go of in order to venture through them new doors. And outcome is, yeah, see, we, we've got to get out of this drained energy. It's zapping your energy. You know, so you could be feeling drained, you could be feeling down, there could be a stomach illness coming up or it is up. Uh, I feel like you're purging. You, you need to let go of this energy around you that's draining you throughout this Mercury retrograde. Um, give me one more on the drained. Yeah, so I'm feeling in a conflict. You could have been in conflict with a partner, with a family member. It's... But... I don't feel like it's physical con conflict anymore, like it's words or even physical, you know. I feel it's more inner conflict now because of the past, because of past emotions. So I'm going to clarify anyway. But they're asking you, whilst under this retrograde, to release this conflict. So the heartbreak from my past is strength. So your challenge is to release the heartbreak and spiritual... So we've got Leo on the table as well. Um... So they're giving you the strength to do this, though. You have got the strength to do this. You're stronger than you think. We've got... Right, so we've got... Nine swords in reverse. So the challenge is to get out of the prison of your own mind, your own thoughts. So I'm picking up anxiety, depression. You know, you've got the strength to get over this. And then we've got the lovers. So it could definitely be around a relationship, a past relationship that you're trying to heal from. Um, we've got Gemini as well. And we've got the challenges to go for the brand new fresh start, being divinely guided towards that fresh start. So you've got to take upon them challenges to get through this. The Mother Nature card, why is it coming around? We've got a flyer. The Magician. So now we've got Aries. Getting a lot of major arcana. Um, so we've got Aries. But at the end of March, we're going to Aries. But you are manifesting. And in order to manifest the good, we've got to release the negative if we carry on staying in them negative cycles, we're going to ma manifest more of those cycles. So we need to get away from any manipulation, any manipulating thoughts that you could be doing yourself. Um, but you're manifesting. Be the magician of your own life. We've got six of cups in reverse. So we could have had uh, a connection where you felt it were a soulmate um, and it wasn't and you're still healing from that fact. So the divine protection... Queen of Swords. So the Divine is coming in. We've got Air Sign again. But we've got uh, the Divine is coming in to help you cut the cords to things that no longer serve you. The Queen of Co the Queen of Swords. See, my words don't come out in Mercury Retrograde. It's weird. The Queen of Swords is, um, she's been through a lot of shit. He or she, whatever. Uh, she's been through a lot of crap in her life. And she's got to that point of now, she's... It's step forward and I'll listen to your story. But as soon as I think you're bullshitting me, I'm cutting the cord. So the div the divine are asking you to cut cords. I would be asking Archangel Michael to ask uh, for help in cutting cords. So this letting go, the three of pentacles. It's time to sit and reminisce. It's time to work as a team with yourself and your guards. Um, it's, you're taking this on. It's time to do the research. It's time to... Do the manifestations, journal, journal, journal about the past. It, that, help, that also helps release. We've got the King of Swords and Temperance in reverse. So we've got Sagittarius in reverse and, the King, and we've got Air again. The King of Swords is about communication. I always see him as a professional person. You could be needing to ask for professional help in order to restore balance to this situation. So it could be counselling, um, any type of advisor, even your guards. Um, at present, there's definitely a need to ask for advice in, or, in 
how to release these issues. So your solar plexus, where's your solar plexus going? The king of pentacles. So it's all about gaining stability within yourself, using your gut instinct to gain stability within your own thoughts. Yeah, because you're fighting your shadow self. You, It's ego coming up. Mercury retrograde is bringing a lot of things that are triggering you. Um, give me one more on the shadow side. Yeah, just be patient with yourself. Self-love, self-care. The seeds are already planted. Seven of pentacles. Be patient. Self-growth. So each pen, just we, a rose bush doesn't grow over in, in one night, you know. Just be patient with yourself. Uh, the number seven could be relevant as well. Seven weeks, the seventh. Um, so the phoenix your, as your power the emperor you taking back control of your life uh, we are 2020 it's the year of the emperor in tarot this year is for you it's time for you to take control of your life this first, Merc this first mercury retrograde of the year is helping you release past hurts so the freedom card releasing yourself from past karma page of cups I feel like this is, yeah, it's definitely emotional and inner child issues. It could be trigger things that are coming up now, triggering um, emotions and memories from your past, from your childhood. Um, give me one on the page of cups. The seven of wands. You may have had to like defend yourself in past and things like that, or defend yourself against yourself. You know, um, you're free. You don't need to be like that anymore. You don't need to justify yourself. Free yourself from other people's judgments. So this le leap of faith that you need to take. The Five of Pentacles. So it's to unblock yourself. I feel like you've put yourself in like an emotional block for your own safety. It's time to unblock yourself. Have that leap of faith. If it's in love and you're scared of venturing forward because you've been hurt in the past unblock that energy because you're going forward yeah you are going forward we've got the two of wands so th this is it's the need to make that decision to take a leap forward you know you can stay at home and feel grounded but you can venture off the world's a lot bigger than your little world that you've created at the minute it's unblock that energy eight of swords in reverse yeah it's time to get out of your head it's time to escape the force you're not stuck the blindfold's being ripped off. You're seeing your own triggers and it's time to deal with them. So this drained and conflict is the outcome. We've got the 11-11. So peace, contentment and abundance. The completion of this process. So you are doing it. It's inner work that is definitely needed. Two of pentacles in reverse. So then you no longer have to juggle. And then we've got the empress. You're manifesting. Sow the seeds to your dreams. So this is two dreams. Give me one on the Empress. We could, it could be parental, like I was feeling at the beginning. It could be triggers. But you're learning, you're self-learning. It's like, here's a bit of Blue Peter badge. You're coming out of a karmic cycle with the eight there. Uh, whatever we do this year stays with us for eight years. Uh, you know, we're starting a new karmic cycle. Get your Blue Peter badge. You, you know, do the self-work. It's all about self-work. Do the inner work. But stop, um, unblock yourself from... Being able to ask for help and things like that, speaking your truth, um, show your emotions. You know, it takes a stronger person to show their emotions uh, and to actually ask for help. But you've got the eleven eleven. Your wish is granted. There's some kind of wish being granted because you take a leap of faith in yourself. And then we've got some kind of options coming up back in your water element. What are the options bringing you? You're coming out of hermit mode. Like I was just saying, I felt I feel like you put yourself in hermit mode. We're not coming. We're coming out of hermit mode. It's time to venture out. It's time to meet new meet new people, um, explore. You know, experience new things. One more. S of Wands. Time to get your mojo back. I like it. S of Wands. Something to be passionate about. Finding your passions again. Releasing past pain. I like it. I got that out some more. Bye.